it looks like we're coming in right here or right here right over here yeah so we're going right back here to just in between that building and that car so we should walk at first and look for nails and strips of iron and shit i don't like flat tires out here in the desert but See that? They're still on us like we were just right by the entrance. Yep. That one the show that I did. You guys out in YouTube land, look up uh, uh, risk takers on Discovery. I can see all the other shit too, just Nat Geo history. Food Network, look up Food Network. You can see us, killerbeeguy.com. Go now, go now. Rewind that 45 times so you can see killerbeeguy.com. Anyway, <laughs> it counts. Our views go up, huh, kids? Hell yeah. Oh, and subscribe. So anyway, uh, oh, here's a piece. So we're walking, what am I talking about? Something important, right? Huh? Yep. Uh, so we're walking the line here because this old car that has these in it, right out there, that old roundy job at the end. Uh, oh, Discovery Town. Um, we did this and they were trying to see how far the bees would chase us like this, even worse. After about a half a mile, I said, you know, fuck this, let's go to the next one. We could have walked for three miles. They chased our truck twice for four miles this year, so it's a, it's a done deal. Okay, we can get in here. We want to make sure no big chunks to get flat tires on. Because like I was just telling you, we have flat tires. Changing flat tires in a bee suit with mad bees. Done it. Don't recommend it. Run screaming like a little girl you didn't add. <laughs> Alright, well, let's take this up. Start from hey, sweetheart, can I have you pull? Yep. Get out of the way. Go and get! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, we're gonna bring the big guns just in case. We're gonna need uh, our bucket with the same bucket we had before with a spray adhesive and a pry bar because we I doubt we're gonna that that um, trunk is gonna open easily. I think we're gonna bring a big one. We're gonna bring Grandpa bar. Bring Grandpa to the bar and leave him there. Goddamn bunch of mean bees around here. Why is that called a grandpa bar? I don't know, I just made it up. Because oh. that's what grandpa used for walking cane. Come on, motherfucker, let's go chase some bees, you little goddamn what's your sniper. Come on, get around and chase them fucking bees. Pussy! Goddamn, put it on your Careful, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Julio, Julio. Julio, young whippersnapper. These fucking drones don't care, they're gonna explode and die when they make that cock fucking queen. Yeah, give them a shit, Oh, fucking drones, they die! I asked them, they said, who gives a shit? Did we get dinner? You got a sandwich? That's all I said. That's yeah, Grandpa Bar, that's what it is. That's what Grandpa gets to use after he takes this to the bar. Nobody's gonna fuck with you. <laughs> Except these guys, you're gonna fuck with us every time. They're in the gas tank. No, they're in the trunk. They're in the old car. You know, oh, you know what this car is? This is one of them old models. It's a Studefucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. An old Studefucker. So when you have more than one pally, they're in the gas tank. Son of a bitch, that really sucks. Unless the gas tank is in the trunk. Um, so, oh, yeah, they we got more than one mean hive. There's another one. These bees that are still on us are probably a combo of the bees we just did in that roof and these bees. There's another hive over here. You just said? No, nope, I thought I saw bees right here. Never mind. I'm seeing things. Well, that's all right. Better be safe than 
sorry. Yeah, we're looking around all stupid fuckers like this. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for buck and bees. Buck and bee eyes. Look at this. Boy, these are almost brand new. <laughs> I remember when I bought this. Yep, I think I think my daughter was conceived in one. <laughs> you are amusing. Yeah, jack this puppy up. Uh, well, we might be. Thank you. Well, I believe that just opened. <laughs> that, that probably hadn't been opened in 232 years since it seemed the Studefucker was made. <laughs> Can you believe that, honey? That fucking thing just that opened. I thought pry bar. Oh my god. I was hoping it was going to be full of comb. I thought we were going to. Well, it's full of not comb, it's full of rat's nest. Ouch, you little fuckers. Look at this, we got guard bees. How do you want to skip this? Yep. Even though we can't really do anything with this, it's fine. Prime example. Prime example. Can I put my phone up and put piss them off? Put your phone up there. Put it right up there, honey. We don't care if we piss them off. We're going to seal them up anyway. <laughs> there we go. They're already pissed off, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to... Uh, it's just expanding foam. We can already use one that's open if we got one. <laughs> or not. I don't give a shit. All right, so I mean, this is. Yeah, if it's open and, and it works. Like in the truck? Nah, it'll work. Okay. Yeah. So see those bees coming out now? Mm -hmm. You want to see something interesting? You want to see something interesting? Yeah. Like you've never seen before? Hey, educational time. Oh, I thought you were going to start a, a lighter. <laughs> I've got to explain. <laughs> be, be a bar B Q. <laughs> so if we look around here, one thing you got to make sure when you're doing this shit. There's no neighbors within, you know, <laughs> half a mile, which still, who cares? <laughs> no, actually, uh, the bees are going to focus on us because we've been stung. Julie and I have both yeah. been stung. So I'm going to show how angry these bees can get and how quickly. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah, see? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God, look at that. <laughs> so they're starting to fall. a high pressure water hose. I've done this, seen this before. And once they, once the pheromone goes through the hive, in 15 seconds, you can have 15,000 And that's what's happening right now. Look at them pouring out of there. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, look at her phone. It actually has right. like the weight. We're going to go ahead and seal it up. <laughs> Mitigating the threat, that's what we're doing right now. We're just gonna we we mitigate the threat and at the same time make it possible for the bees to get in. So I'm gonna stick this back down in there and see if I can dump some more in there. Not in full. Are we gonna have to clean out this rat shit to see if there's any holes or are we just gonna see if they start crawling out first? No, uh when we get the spray adhesive and knock a bunch of these down, we'll see if there's gonna be any coming out of there. Okay. So Shit. Uh, well, give him a cane back. What the hell? Now let's get up the train. Oh, there My God, your phone case is completely full of stingers. Jesus. Yeah, three so, big guys. So the gal that lives here, this all came about because, unfortunately, this is one of those deals of uh, they don't bother me. Here we go again. And the gal in Windsor Place has been stung. Absolutely wonderful gal. And she, but she's been stung. They still don't bother her. But the young gal, looks like she's in her 30s maybe, has a 11-month-old, 11, 11 9-month-old, something like that, baby, and was out hanging up line, uh, wash on the line. And the bees attacked her from the house. And she 
freaked out like you do when you get stung. Uh, your legs go, I don't give a shit who's, a waist, who's above the waist, I'm out of here. And I watched people uh, run off roofs and out in front of traffic. Well, she put the baby down, <laughs> fell down twice, lost her glasses. You know, doing the emergency, The it's not fight or flight, it's flight or flight. And so she uh, lived, the baby got in, but that really drew attention to how mean these little fuckers are. Uh, you can't, you just can't risk it with them. You gotta, you can't live with them. You can't live with them in your neighborhood. You cannot live with them in your neighborhood. They don't know fences. They don't know fences. They, if they move, so a ball of bees hanging on a tree used to be about the nicest thing in the world. Literally. I would go without a suit and reach my hand in the middle. And if there was, I thought where the queen was, if I got her, the, uh, I'd have the whole ball on my hand. Great at elementary schools. Oh, hell yeah, I was Superman. Still am. So anyway, um, the tights are a little older. But, um, so, uh, these days, a swarm of bees, we used to tell people, give it a couple days, they'll move on. Those days are over. Two reasons, or three. One, three reasons actually. One, you got a ball of bees hanging on a tree. If a kid throws a rock at it and gets stung, you're liable. If it's your property. Period. So, Second just like reason. snake bites. Huh? Just like snake bites. Just like snake bites. Just like the tree limb falling in your neighbor's car. You're liable. We hear this all the time from people. I didn't bring the bees. Really, look up the law. Ignorance of the law is no excuse, blah, blah, blah. Second reason. Over 50% of the swarms that we're finding now on trees are building honeycomb there, right in front of God and everybody. That Ten years ago, five years ago, that would never, ever, ever have been the case. It would never have happened. So now they're building honeycomb right there. So they're living there. The only difference between a swarm and a hive is that millisecond they decide to live there. And their attitude does change. It goes from bad to worse. From fuck to fucker. Fuck is. Something like that, anyway. So the uh, third reason. So they do move on. Great. What if they move up in the eaves of your house? Then it not only costs twice as much to get them removed, it's a hell of a lot more dangerous. Or under your shed. Well, what if they go to the neighbors? These guys don't know fences for crying out loud. They live underneath your neighbor's shed and you're mowing the lawn. Well, then it's his responsibility, liable for your death. So no, get rid of these little bastards. They're, these are not our grandfather's honeybees. All right. These are Africanized. That's all we have in Arizona. They're, they're, that's all we have in the south and even up north. You can't risk it anymore. Are you going to risk picking up that snake thinking he's not going to bite you? No. Well, not if you have any sense. So you cannot risk it with the honeybees anymore. Uh, they're too dangerous. They killed a guy in Connecticut. Old beekeeper had two hives. He didn't know one of them was hot, was Africanized. He went out without his, with just his net on, T-shirt, no gloves, like I used to do. He didn't make it back to his truck. So you can't risk it anymore. Get rid of swarms. Get rid of hives. Uh, they, there are way too many of these bees. And also the colony collapse disorder. This is October 12, 2019. As of right now, the colony collapse disorder is about over in the United States. It's on the way up. Um, um, private hives with pollinators are way up. And this is right from the state. Directly from the state. So uh, uh, the, the colony collapse... The honeymoon's over. These bees need to go. So we're going to continue knocking a few down, and then we're going to talk to the lady, and we're going to film that also. And uh, you guys go to killerbeeguy.com, get some honey. Do it now. Do it now. Rewind. Do it now. Do it now. Rewind. Do it now. Anyway. <laughs> sir, can I interest you in a used car? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. I like it. It's a veritable honey factory. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go talk to the owner. Let her know that in about six months we'll be fine to come out of the house. So, Julio, amazingly enough, because as you know, when the drone mates with the queen bee, he explodes and dies and leaves his genitalia inside of her. And so your question yesterday is very pertinent about, does he know that that's going to happen? And of course, so Julia and I are laughing our asses off in the truck about this yesterday. Pertinent question. And, uh, and I looked at him and I said, does he care? <laughs> and so I, I, I found out re extensive, re up all night with it. Really? They don't give a shit. <laughs> no, they don't. And I was like, hey, watch this, hold my beer. And they're dead. It's just like, you know.